guys so i am about to redo this table um <laughs> i can't take it any longer with the brown it is a nice table i hate to mess with it in a way but i'm not really feeling that guilty because it's from the thrift store so it's not like i spent an arm and a leg on it or anything it looks like this was probably like a little homemade project anyway if you ask me just based on like how the staples are on this and like how the quality is going around the edge so i feel like somebody else like diy this so now I'm just gonna like put my little spin on it, but I'm about to go to Lowe's and look for some sort of like material to replace this. Um, first, I need to probably get this out. I know that it's probably like kind of difficult to get out possibly. Yeah, it feels like you can't just, you know, press it through or anything. So <sighs> I don't know, I'm gonna have to find a little way to get that off um i would almost want to replace these but then again i could probably just spray paint them so i don't know and then i want to replace the knobs on here so i'll let y'all see that of course i'm addicted to doing projects at this point <laughs> but um yeah i really like the you know bones of this little shelf so i'm gonna do that and I have to get some um, measuring tape so I can measure the doors and figure out how big of a piece I need to get cut or if I can find some material that I could like cut myself, I'll do that. But where is my freaking measuring tape? My measuring tape is always missing. So 21 by seven and a half. But anyway, I'm going to run out and see if I can find some spray paint and some, you know, like panels for these doors and try to change this into a better looking cabinet because I don't know, I'm not really feeling it right now. It's cute, but not for my house. Like y'all see my house is like, you know, black, white, and gray. And I'm just not trying to like incorporate this reddish brown into the whole thing. So I'm looking for a handle or two handles. I got this color. Um, it looks like, I know it just looks great on camera, but it's actually like mixed with a little brown like taupe. So this is the color, gloss stone gray. So yeah, now I'm just looking for this. Hopefully I find some cute ones. to run in Walmart and look for something to complete this um little project. I have my spray paint and what else? Spray paint and knobs in my bag. So if I have to match anything up, I'll just already, you know, have it in the bag with me. Okay guys, so I just removed the old knobs from the cabinet and the little inserts in the doors and I added one of the um, new knobs and I'm really liking it so far, but of course it's not, you know, painted or anything, but I think that I'm really gonna like this setup once I get some glass or something in the doors and spray paint these. I'm gonna remove this too and spray paint it like silver to match the hardware. But yeah, I'm excited to finish this, but I'll show y'all the finished product once it's done. Okay guys, so I just painted this. 
I made the inside like a silver color. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the outside is the gray that I showed you all. Um, and then I put on the knobs. I don't have the glass for the doors yet, but I have to get that cut at Lowe's or somewhere like that. So I'm just going to get that cut and then it'll be complete. Hey guys, so I'm on my way to Lowe's again because I forgot to get glass cut while I was there. So now I need to make a totally different trip and go back to get this glass cut. Um, but I do need to also get like something to hold the glass in place. Um, I can probably just glue it in, but I still want to look for like some sort of metal like brackets. I don't know the name of them, but I know like what I'm looking for. So... <laughs> basically like a little piece where I could screw it on both sides and like maybe put it like horizontal. Um, like if this is the slab of glass, I just wanna hold the corners in with like the four little pieces. And I don't even need four of them. I just need like maybe two on each. So um, yeah, I'm gonna look for that. And um, I think I might still have wood um glue i don't know i might need hot glue and i do have a hot glue gun so i don't know but this is just like a little project <laughs> honestly like something to keep me busy so i'm excited to get the glass in there i hope that they have the right you know measurements because sometimes they're funny about like cutting glass and cutting wood if they don't have like a specific um measurement or like the piece that's going to be remaining is too small like they'll kind of act funny about that like for example if you if you needed something cut that's like five inches but the piece that they're cutting is like five and a half inches they won't want to cut a half an inch off they want it to be like a nice little remainder left so that's what i'm talking about So I got the glass, now I'm about to put it in. Hopefully it fits. Um, I tried to measure it while I was at the store, but it's like wrapped in this paper. So that makes it a little like um, hard to really get a true size with the paper wrapped around it. But yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead, take this out. It feels like see what i mean like it looks a little big to fit into that little insert part but hopefully that's just the paper making it look like that y'all this is crazy so the thing is like it must be the door that's crooked because the measurements of the glass is correct and when i'm like measuring the door that's also correct but it must be like a little bit too like in i feel like somebody made this cabinet and so it's like not perfect um because it's like the bottom piece feels like it needs to be like chiseled down or like the inside piece like i feel like some of this needs to come off because like the glass just will not lay into that little piece and i tried it on both doors and it's just like that but y'all i'm gonna try it on the other side again y'all see how well i know y'all can't really tell because it's clear but it's not like dropping down into this side piece okay y'all so i got the glass in here um I had to basically add some little like double-sided tape. Yeah, I had to like stick that behind the glass so that it could like lift it up a little bit. And I just bought these from Lowe's, like some little brackets so that I could like secure it. And just in case the glass like tried to fall out, this would like hold it. Because of course this part isn't like sitting back like it's supposed to. So this part just keeps it from like coming up. Okay guys, 
so I just went and got these for the corners and these are black so this is going to change the whole direction of the rest of it so I'm going to end up spray painting these black and I probably will remove these and make these black too just to you know pull it all together but this is how that looks and I only got two because they're six dollars for two and I just didn't think it was necessary to get four or whatever so yeah I'm about to install these and I'll probably pop all this other stuff off and just spray paint it black today too if I have black spray paint in my car okay guys so i just spray painted all of the hardware and handles um i did this like right on my porch i'm about to put everything back on the doors and install everything and i'll show you all the finished product <music> hardware i spray painted this hardware black and i'm done so i can officially end this project thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to y'all in the next vlog bye <laughs>